Hello and welcome back to the Tech Black Bow. And once again in our part 7, I have got 20 very latest and interesting questions for you on AI 900. And do not forget there is a giveaway of the PDF with all the questions and answers of this part 7. So please stay put in the video. And friends by the end of the video if you like the content then please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Just in case you are here for the first time on the tech blackboard then I need to mention that we have already covered 80 questions in 6 parts. And besides that we have also done an introduction video as part 1. And this will give you a basic understanding on AI 900 and why and who should do it. Additionally, if you want the PDF versions of all the 80 questions, then you have to watch the respective part, answer simple questions that are asked in those respective part, and then you will get your own PDF versions of all the questions and answers. And for now, if you want the PDF versions of this part 7 with all the 20 questions and answers, then you have to tell me the correct answer for question number 85, 93 and 99. All the questions are answered in this very video itself. So watch the video very carefully. There are a lot of tips, tricks and concepts explained in this video. So skipping the video is not an option. So let's begin our part 7 on AI 900. So let's begin our part 7 with question number 81 which is a yes no kind of question on text analytics. The first statement says the text analytics service can identify in which language the text is written. So you have to tell whether it's a yes or a no. Let me give you the correct answer for this statement. It's a yes. Moving on with the statement B, we have the text analytics service can detect handwritten signatures in a document. And the correct answer for this statement is no. And that implies that the text analytics service cannot detect handwritten signatures in a document. Moving on with the third statement, we have the text analytics service can identify companies and organizations mentioned in a document. The correct answer for this statement is yes. In case you are curious to know a little bit more about text analytics, then this is a quick snippet. So a text analytic API is a cloud based service that provides advanced natural language processing over raw text and includes four main functions sentiment analysis, key phrase extraction, named entity recognition and language detection. Moving on with question number 82. The question says that when training a model, why should you randomly split the rows into separate subsets? Your options are to train the model twice to attain better accuracy or to train multiple models simultaneously to attain better performance. Or the third option is to test the model by using data that was not used to train the model. The correct answer of course is option C and why it is important to randomly split the rows into separate subsets because you always want to have some data that you can test your model against and that's the reason you should always split your data one on which you can train your model and the other one against which you can test your model. Moving ahead we have question number 83. And this question says that you need to predict the mm or millimeter amount of rainfall for the next 10 years. Which type of machine learning should you use? Your options are classification, regression and clustering. The correct answer for this question is option B regression. And why so? Because in most basic sense regression refers to the prediction of a numeric target. So friends, please understand whenever in any Microsoft Azure AI 900 question, it is asked that you need to predict some numeric value. So here, for example, we are predicting a numeric value in terms of millimeter amount of rainfall for the next 10 years. In these kind of questions where you have to predict a numeric value, always go for regression. Reading a little bit more linear regression attempts to establish a linear relationship between one or more independent variable and a numeric outcome or dependent variable. So here again it's important that you're noting its numeric outcome. And then it says that you use this model to define a linear regression method and then train a model using labeled data set. The trained model can then be used to make prediction. I hope these small quick tips will really help you when you are sitting for the real exam. So once again, whenever it's a numeric value, always go for regression. And just to reinforce the concept, let me give you one more example. In this question number 84, you can see that you need to predict the temperature rise in degrees due to the climate change in next 50 years. Which type of machine learning should you use? 
the correct answer for this one as well is regression why because we are trying to predict temperature which again is a numeric value i hope these two quick questions will make it clear when to choose regression moving ahead with question number 85 the question says that you want to use the language service to determine the key talking points in a text document which feature of service should you use your options are sentiment analysis key phrase extraction or entity detection the correct answer for this question is option b key phrase extraction and now let me give you one liner explanation of each option so the sentiment analysis which is an incorrect option sentiment analysis returns a numeric score indicating how positive or negative text is and then moving on with key phrase extraction that can be used to identify the main talking point in a text document and that was the exact ask of the question as well moving on the entity detection identifies specific types of entities in the document and not the main talking point and that's why we have not chosen entity detection now let's move ahead with question number 86 the question says that which of the following are not microsoft guiding principles for responsible ai Friends, I've seen many times that people in haste do not read the questions correctly. And in these kind of situations, they do not notice this not here. So please read your questions very carefully. In this question, we are asked to list down the principle which are not the guiding principle. Okay, so moving ahead with the options, your options are knowledgeability, decisiveness, inclusiveness, fairness, validity or reliability and safety. And the correct answers for this question is option A, knowledgeability, B, decisiveness and E, validity. These are not the Microsoft guiding principle for responsible AI. Moving ahead with question number 87 and that says that returning a bounding box that indicates the location of a vehicle in an image is an example of image classification or is it object detection or is it optical character recognizer or is it semantic segmentation the correct answer for this question is obviously option b object detection quickly moving to question number 88 and this is a yes no kind of question let's read the question it says automated machine learning provide you with the ability to include custom python script in a training pipeline whether it's a yes or it's a no if you already know the answer, pause the video right now and tell me the answer in the comment section. But for now, let's move ahead. And the correct answer for this question is yes. And then we have question number 89 and that says automated machine learning implements machine learning solutions without the need for programming experience. And the correct answer for this question is yes. Now let's jump to the question number 90. The question says that automated machine learning provides you with the ability to visually connect data sets and modules on an interactive canvas. The correct answer for question number 90 is yes. Now let's quickly jump to the question number 91. The question says that a score of 0.99 of a sentiment analysis on a document using language service. What does this score indicate about the document sentiment? Does it indicate that the document is positive, neutral or negative? The correct answer for this question is option A that the document is positive. And in case you are confused how I came to the conclusion that why it is a positive, then here is a quick explanation. And as I just mentioned, a score of 0.99 indicates that the document is positive. Now let's read the reasoning behind it. The score values closer to 1 indicates a more positive sentiment, whereas the score closer to 0 indicates negative sentiment. And as you can very well judge, 0.99 is extremely close to 1 and that's why we chose positive as an answer. Moving on, we have a neutral document would score around 0.5. So in case the question changes and the Microsoft puts the score near 0.5, then you know that you have to choose neutral in that case. And then this is a similar explanation as we saw for the option 1. Coming to question number 92, the question says that which service should you use to create a knowledge base for bots? Your options are conversational language understanding, question answering or Azure bots. The correct answer for this question is option B, question answering. Now let's check out our question number 93. The question says that you need to develop a chatbot for a website. The chatbot must answer users questions based on the information in the following document. The documents given are 
a product troubleshooting guide in Microsoft Word document. And the second document is a frequently asked questions list on a web page. Which service should you use to process the documents? Your options are language understanding, key analytics, Azure bot service or QA maker. The correct answer for this question is option D QA maker. Moving ahead with question number 94. Again, we have a yes no kind of a question. A banking system that predicts whether a loan will be repaid is an example of regression type of a machine learning. You have to tell whether it's a regression or not. The correct answer for this one is no. And the reason I have told you many times in our previous questions as well, regression is whenever you have to predict a numeric value. Here in this case, you have to predict whether a loan will be repaid or not. So this is more like a yes no kind of question. And that's why regression does not fit here. Moving ahead with question number 95, same question, but this time we have classification here. And this time this one is a correct answer. So you should use classification model whenever the prediction is answered in yes or no. And I'm not talking about this yes and no, but my point is that in this question, you have to predict whether a loan can be repaid or not. So either a loan can be repaid or it can not be repaid. So I hope you got the gist. Moving ahead with question number 96. This question says that when might you see NAN return for a score in a language detection? And these are the options given when the score calculated by the service is outside the range of 0 to 1 or when a predominant language in the text is mixed with other languages. The third option is when the language is ambiguous. The correct answer for this question is option C when the language is ambiguous. Now let's jump to question number 97. This question says that your company is in business of providing customer support over the phone. During many years, company has created a frequently asked questions document. The company now wants to create a knowledge base that includes questions and answers from the fact document. You see, this is the fact document with the least possible effort. What should you do? Should you create a knowledge base from scratch and manually copy and paste the fact entries to it? Or should you import the existing fact document into a new knowledge base? And the third option is, should you import a predefined chatting data source? The correct answer for this question is option B, that you should import the existing fact document in a new knowledge base. Now let's move ahead with question number 98. The question says that which of the following is used to generate additional features? Your options are feature selection, feature engineering, model evaluation or model training. The correct answer for this question is feature engineering. And here comes our question number 99. The question says that you need to make press releases of your company available in a range of languages. Which service should you use? Your options are translator text, text analytics, speech or language understanding. The correct answer for this question is translator text. And now on your screen is question number 100. So we are already making a century here. And this is the last question of our part seven in our AI 900 real exam question and answer series. So let's read the first statement. The first statement says automated machine learning is the process of automating the time consuming iterative task of machine learning model development. The correct answer for this statement is yes. And very obviously, to some extent, the name itself explains that automated machine learning. So it basically helps you automate the iterative task. Moving ahead with the second statement, automated machine learning can automatically infer the training data from the use case provided. The correct answer for this statement is no. And then we have our third statement, which says that automated machine learning works by running multiple training iteration that are scored and ranked by the matrix you specify. And the correct answer for this statement is yes. And the last statement says that automated machine learning enables you to specify a data set and will automatically understand which label to predict. And the correct answer for this statement is yes. In case you want a detailed explanation of all these yes no kind of questions, do let me know in the comment section and I will surely provide you a detailed explanation and understanding on each of them. I hope you like these 20 questions in part 7 on AI 900. And before I close the video, friends, it's my humble request that if you're liking the content, please, please make sure to like the video because that's the only way the YouTube algorithm spreads the video to a larger audience.
and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel a lot of interesting new exam series are coming up on your own channel the tech blackboard till we meet again in our next video stay fit keep learning and thanks for watching if this video has added any value in your learning a like and subscribe is highly appreciated share this video in your family and friends to spread and expand their learning your comments and feedback give me a chance to interact with you and i look forward for them we will meet again in our next video till then stay fit keep learning and thanks for watching